What's going on, Hemp Squad? So I got some new products that I'm uh, going to be checking out. going to be going over some of the products that I picked up. And we're going to do a first impression on one of the ones that I just picked up. Uh, then we'll be doing a final impression. So one of the ones I just picked up is Pineapple Express. That is the one that I will be vaping on here in this video. Uh, the Granddaddy Perp I got at the same time. Now this one, I'm not actually smoking myself. I actually got it for someone else. So I did try it before I gave it to him. I can say that it did taste a little bit like grape. Um, it had a good effect. You know, pretty typical for Delta 8. I mean, as far as that end of it. And... Definitely one I would probably buy again. Uh, so, one thing I have said before is like with the Pineapple Express, I'm not expecting this to taste like pineapple or wasn't expecting it to taste like pineapple when I bought it. I mean, here is one, for example, from the exact same company. It's called Jungle Juice. What is that supposed to taste like? You got Green Crack, another one. Basically what they try and do from my understanding is uh, try and mimic the makeup of whatever they're trying to aim for. Like they can actually take a strain nowadays and actually add different terpenes and stuff like that to get pretty close to how it actually tastes and everything like that. So uh, before I get into the Pineapple Express, Actually, you know what? Go ahead and take a hit. Because it seems like the right thing to do. Like it. Cheers. So does it taste like pineapple? I mean, kind of, sort of, I guess. Kind of arguable. I know the person that I uh, bought this for, that I also tried this one as well. Well, basically we each tried, you know, I tried their Granddaddy Perp, they tried my Pineapple Express. And we both liked the Granddaddy Perp, I actually liked the Pineapple Express. The other person that really didn't like it so much, so it's like, yeah, glad I liked it. Which, if I didn't, I mean, guess what, I went to pick it up, so, tough shit. Sorry. But, so the Pineapple Express ain't really too bad. It doesn't really taste like pineapple. I've kind of already explained that. I don't really follow the flavor or the name, whatever you want to call it. It's really more of a name than anything. So, you can see I have already smoked quite a bit on there. I have already made a couple of videos before this one. And I end up going back and looking at it and saying... I forgot to do this, I forgot to do that. So this one I'm going to remember. So, I don't know why I took that off of there. I did already smoke before the video as well. I took three hits. This here is uh, Dr. Strains, which actually let me show you. So this is THCO, this is Runt. This is one that I'm gonna be doing. Got Grape Ape, also from Dr. Strains. And got, this one was White Fire, which is also from, Do from Dr. Strains. So, and because I ran over and picked it up, I even got this little, like, case type deal. Which actually isn't too bad, but I figure it's going to break pretty easy. It's not made to be used long term. But it's pretty handy for little cartridges you can see they fit in there nice 
one of the little perks of going over there and picking it up compared to having it shipped. Um, so the THCO was, I believe, 27, and then these were both 20. Now, I didn't even think they were going to have the THCO. It showed that they were out of stock online, and when I went in, they said that they did actually have them. Uh, but they have been selling like hotcakes, which I told the guy, man, I figure they probably have. There's not too many places that you can find that are selling it, which is another point that I want to get to real quick. As um, I was looking on Boston Empire, and something that they have now is you can actually purchase THCO flour. It's the only place I have seen so far that actually has it on the flour. Um, I think it was like 30 bucks, something like that, and it's one of those containers. So it's probably, I'm guessing, seven, seven and a half grams, I think. I think seven grams is usually typically what they go for. I have seen them with three and a half gram containers, so I don't know. It doesn't say on the website. If somebody knows, uh, comment down below if you know how big the containers are, if it's three and a half grams or seven grams. Um, but I believe it was like 30 bucks. It was either 30 or $35 plus shipping. So probably end up grabbing some of that pretty soon. See what ends up happening. I mean, who knows? I mean, you can definitely see that I do definitely go through some vape carts. I mean, so the Pineapple Express is definitely pretty good. The Runt, which I am going to do a separate video, is also really good. Like I said, I did already take a few hits. I did weigh all of these before I opened all of them. Uh, this one came in at 14.02. Um, the last video that I hit, well, the first video I had made when I was doing the review, it was down to like four, uh, 13.93 or, <clears throat> or something like that. So now it's down to like 13.7. So, I mean, I've done like two or three different videos, gone in, ended up deleting it, going into my trash, deleting that wasn't really anything as far as like bloopers or anything like that where I could have made a blooper video because I have thought of maybe doing something like that but take another rip uh, these are also from a gift from nature CBD in case anybody was wondering And these are both gift from nature, which actually, uh, jungle juice was also a gift from nature. And then I also got eight Delta eight. I got their green crack. Uh, there was another one that I got from eight Delta eight as well. So I mean, so far they all seem to be pretty consistent. I mean, I haven't really found any that don't really have the same effect as others. The only one that I can actually say that, unfortunately, I mean, I'm not trying to bash the company or anything, but I mean, you got to step your game up a little bit, in my opinion, would be 8 Delta 8. Um, the green crack was actually pretty decent, but the other one that I had bought, I forget what the name of it was. I was a little disappointed in. Now, I did get it for $17.99. I mean, $17.99, it was good. But seeing the prices online at like $30, $35, I mean, the competitors have much better products for a much better price. So, it is what it is. I mean, would I buy the green crack again for $17.99? Yes. But, um, so the first impressions on the Pineapple Express, which I've kind of already gone over throughout the video. It tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste like pineapple, really, to me. Um, if I was going to describe it, it tastes more like just dank weed. Um, gets it pretty high. It is a hybrid. It's sativa dominant, which I prefer sativa, so that's good for me. 
Uh, this is one of those that says shake well before use, which I did not do before using this one. I don't know if that would have made a big difference. Um, oops. You know, one thing I have kind of thought too, and there's really no way for me to know, is I wonder if maybe just the smell actually smells like Pineapple Express, and then maybe Green Crack smells like alien ass. I don't know. Apple. Maybe that's what they were going for, Apple. I don't know. It's debatable. What does Green Crack taste like? What is Green Crack? Take one more rip and that's pretty much going to be the video. And like I said, it was 14.02 before I opened it. I do also have pictures. I'll put that in my final thoughts on it. Um, so far, I mean, I don't know, the flavor has kind of changed on me a little bit. When I was first smoking it, it just really tasted like really, really good weed. Now it's, I don't know, it just doesn't taste the same to me. I mean, it still tastes that way, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't seem as intense as it was. I have read in some of these... Um, well, some of the research that I've done that they do recommend smoking these at a lower temperature or lower voltage but the only downside to that I find is it doesn't seem to work as good um, I seem to hit it constantly you know so but I do also kind of find that hitting it at a high uh, voltage also kind of hurt your lungs a little bit so I don't know still kind of messing around on that end but I mean I like it I would buy it again for sure um, and it was less expensive than the other ones I've been getting for 25 uh, I wish I would have thought to ask them if they had the thin mints because those were $16.99 which is what I was actually intending to buy and actually try I wanted to see what kind of quality they had on the uh, cart for $17. If there was like a decrease in quality at all or anything like that because it was cheaper. But I didn't even think of it. I ended up getting the White Fire instead. The only other one I've tried was the THCO because that's really kind of just more of a, I don't know, a vape salad. I guess you could call it. Sometimes I take a hit of this and a hit of the other one and kind of like just now. I mean, I'm actually pretty stoned right now. I took three hits of the uh, Runtz THC, uh, THCO, and then I also smoked some of this. And I am pretty stoned. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much the video. Uh, there's really nothing more to go over. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as you can see, I do have a few more to try out. I do also recommend the Granddaddy Perp. It does, if you like grape, uh, this does definitely taste like grape. It's not super, super strong, but the taste is definitely there. You can definitely taste the grape. I don't remember what Jungle Juice tasted like and Green Crack I don't remember what I said it tasted like. I don't think it tasted really like anything. And then we got White Fire, Grape Ape, and Runtz. Which I did get uh, the Runtz THCO on two different brands too. So when I do the review on that one, It'll also kind of be a comparison between the two. And I can tell you that there is a difference between the two, but 
you have to end up if you actually want to end up really seeing the video the best way is to of course subscribe it'll show you when it ends up dropping but I'm gonna end up doing a comparison between two brands and there was actually quite the difference in those compared to the Delta 8 um, so if you want to see the comparison on that be sure to subscribe so you know when it drops uh, like subscribe comment below share all that good stuff it's YouTube as always smoke it if you got it and thank you all for watching peace